All right, guys, I just wanted to show what's going on here. I'm having a slight problem. Uh, Matt, you actually uh, alluded to how much scrub the wagon had. The problem I had was this bracket is my lower, was my old lower shock mount, and it went roughly right here. And if you can see in there, just peeked out right here is the upper shock mount. And what my problem was is as it got to the bottoming out, you can see there's no more change in distance between the two. So what would happen is if you can imagine a shock absorber between this hole and this hole here, nothing's happening right now. And so when you bottomed out your suspension, it's just kind of flopping. So it progressively was getting softer as it would go through its travel. Down here, it, it would work fine as it compressed the shock, but then it would get to round right here, and then it just was worthless. So I had to knock this bracket off um, with a hammer and a cold chisel and a sawzall. And I have now mocked up on this side a new bracket. And you can see it's quite a bit longer, and it hangs down quite a bit farther than the old bracket. And it's just held on by a set of vice grips now, but what it does, let me see if I can move it. It says the shock travels, it's no longer progressively getting softer because when it bottoms out even, you can see that the shock is still being compressed. Um, and this is actually going to be around where it bottoms out now, so it's no longer gonna hit the bottom of the wagon. Because I did this, I lost quite a bit of travel. Um, right about there is gonna be fully extended, and so, uh, one of the benefits to that is now I'm going to have a significantly less amount of scrub. Also, um, this uh, area of travel where it's now only about three inches, where it was about five before, um, allows for this distance from the steering arm to where my steering knuckle will be on my spindle um, to allow this to turn the front tires, remains the same. Uh, through this motion of travel. As it drops down farther, this begins to get significantly closer and this distance becomes too short, which meant when the suspension bottomed out, the tires would be pushed out, um, giving me a toe problem in my alignment. So anyway, I know I haven't given any updates on the wagon and that's because I ran into some problems. So hopefully this fixes them. The front end's gonna be about an inch and a half lower than it was before. Um, which will help with the scrub, the steering, and the progressive softening of the suspension. Uh, it should cure all those problems.